Hi, my name is Tim Young and I'm the Senior Lecturer in Journalism at Maclay College, which has campuses in Melbourne and Sydney. And I'm here today to talk to you about the future of journalism. Now, if you're watching this, you must have at least a bit of curiosity about what our program has to offer. And I'll be speaking for about the next 15 minutes or so about what we do. For over 30 years, Maclay has been connecting graduates to industry success through practical education, project-based learning, and real-world course content. So you're prepared to start your career from day one. So how do we do this? Well, it's a mix of project-based learning, career connections, industry lectures, industry partnerships, flexible study options, fast-track degrees, guest speakers, small classes, and a great student experience. Now, as I mentioned, we work really hard to connect our students to industry, so they're ready to go on day one. For example, meet Indy Brummelin, a Bachelor of Journalism student at Maclay in Melbourne. Now, in Indy's very first week, she came to us in newsroom with a story uh, which we thought was just too good to pass up. The story was about how girls at a prestigious school were being forced to rip out their false eyelashes ahead of a photo day, leaving some girls crying and others bleeding, and with plenty of angry parents thrown in. Now, under guidance from our experienced newsroom lecturers, Indy went away and gathered more material and came back with a series of quotes and facts, and when she did, we knew the story was good to go. Because of our industry connections, we were able to pitch the story to the Age newspaper, which decided to run it in its print edition as well as online. And the story went off, caused a lot of chatter on talkback radio, and the follow-on was a featured item on the Herald Sun and ABC News sites the rest of the next day. A byline in a major national newspaper in your first week? It's not bad. Now meet Tima Haloum and Helena Abdo. These two stars of the Melbourne newsroom came to us after already completing a bachelor degree in journalism at a major institution in Melbourne. Problem was, they didn't think the education they got there was particularly practical and hadn't prepared them for heading out into industry. Now, just before they finished up, Tima and Helena came to us with an absolute cracker of a story. It involved prominent AFL footballer Bashar Huli, the anniversary of the Christchurch mosque shooting and the start of the AFL season. The girls managed to get an exclusive interview with Hooli about his experience traveling to Christchurch following the shooting last year, and when we pitched it on to the Sunday Age, they were desperate to have it. In fact, if it hadn't been for all the COVID-19 coverage, this story was in the running for the front page. Now, we're happy to say these two are now about to graduate from our program, feeling much more confident and armed with practical skills that they can take to market. And check this one out. Just last week, James, one of our students in Sydney, managed to score a three-page cover in the Australian Financial Review over the weekend. Now, it's a pretty amazing feat for a student reporter to be given 3,000 words in one of the country's most reputable publications. It's a great result. Now, as I've said, students get all sorts of guidance from industry professionals on campus, online, and in the newsroom. But they also get to hear from, connect with, and interview leading journalists from around Australia and around the world. Just a few weeks ago, we had an incredible guest lecture from journalist Maria Reza from the Philippines, who joined us via Zoom to discuss her career tackling corruption in that country. Other prominent guest lectures we've had include Michael Dukakis, Eddie McGuire, Walid Ali, Jess Yates, Hugh Rimmington, Nick McKenzie, Richard Baker, Conrad Marshall, the list goes on. Now, of course, for students, it's all about getting through our program, getting the experience they need, and then landing that all-important first job. Maclay students have gone on to do amazing things in Australian media and around the world. For example, South Korean journalism student Yohan Yun enrolled at Maclay and then secured a job as editorial producer for Hong Kong-based startup Forecast News. Charlotte Hanston was a Bachelor of Advertising and Media student now she's working for advertising giant Media Merchants in Sydney, while Maclay journalism grad Elias landed a news cadet role at SBS Australia. From the ABC to Nine, Seven, The Herald Sun, Sydney Morning Herald, our graduates are everywhere. Maclay journalism has also partnered with the Walkley Foundation to host a series of Walkley masterclasses at our Sydney and Melbourne campuses. Our students aren't confined to the classroom, however. Here we see some journalism students in Melbourne visiting Radio 3AW during a news broadcast. Now, from practical experience through to industry connections and real-world learning, at the heart of everything we do at Maclay Journalism is Hatch. Now, if you haven't had a chance to look through hatch.maclay.net, I highly suggest you do. 
2018 Hatch won Best Student News Site in the Country, beating out much more credentialed larger schools like University of Technology Sydney, Melbourne University, Monash, Deakin and RMIT. In 2019, Maclay College came in second in the country, though our student Indy Brummelin and her eyelash story won Best News Story by any student across the whole country. So again, I really encourage you to take a look at the Hatch website. This is a news website full of industry standard articles, photographs, podcasts and videos. And the way we drive the success is through our newsroom. Uh, students at Maclay don't rock up and just sit in lecture theatres all day long. In fact, every day we're on campus from 9 till 12, we exist as a functioning newsroom. Two lecturers in Sydney and two lecturers in Melbourne function as editors of the website. We commission stories, we discuss story ideas, we work through the issues of the day, we decide where the follow-on for the next story is going to be, students interact with each other, they interact with us, they pitch ideas, we workshop ideas, we team up and students leave our campus, go out, do interviews, go to protests, go to rallies, come back and publish what they've seen. Now part of the reason we can achieve all this is because we have small class sizes at Maclay. Uh, you're not a number, uh, we know your name, we know your strengths, we know your weaknesses, uh, we know what you need to work on, uh, and we know how to push you uh, to become the best journalist you can be. Now if any of this seems interesting to you, I suggest you get in touch with our recruitment team. And if you like, you're more than welcome to get in touch uh, with one of the lecturers. Uh, we're happy to have a chat by email or one-on-one -on -one to help you decide if the program is right for you. Hope to see you soon.